enjoy a moment for me. Really glorify God. Thank you for standing with me. Even up to now, I'm still asking myself, Dear Jonas, why God spared me to still be alive? I'm still asking myself, I haven't come to the answers to why God left me. Honestly, if I can recall how the accident occurred, indeed, if we were to be there, say no, that man is God. But I'm still alive by the grace of God. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you. Brethren, I want to quote one thing. When you are lying moving like that, and you haven't got any problem, you cannot know that people love you or hate you. First get a problem or a challenge in life. Honestly, this one taught me a very big lesson. When I got an accident, it is when I discovered that I have people. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Chairperson and all the political leaders. Madam Kao and all the civil servants, thank you for loving me. You showed me love. Maybe I reached an accident and said, maybe the reason was why God this accident. God wanted to show me how people behave and how people love me. Honestly, I discovered it. Bishop Philip, thank you. I there is no way I can explain it, but thank you for standing with me. I felt, I felt the pain, but when people came to me, I didn't feel the pain I ought to feel. Because wherever I could be, somebody comes with a new chapter and says, no, this is not the end. There is hope. Praise the Lord. On 28th, when I went for my review, some people whom I found there, who were already operated, they are still there. But me, I can walk. I thank God. It wasn't a simple accident. We think it was simple, but it was a terrible one. That I was operated here and they put a metal. Others who threatened me, scary that you may not walk normally, but I'm still walking slowly. slowly. Thank you for your prayers. I will not stick there much. Glory goes back to God. Thank you for standing with me. And I pray that may the same spirit continue in the Bible district. The spirit of unity. The spirit of being concerned when somebody gets a problem. Thank you very much. God bless you abundantly. Ah, uh, to cut it short, I want to thank God for this program. This program is a good one. I feel so happy when we are gathered in the name of the Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Papa Bishop, thank you for loving the table. I've been away, but still I'm going to call you. Pastor, I'm going to the table. But why? Exactly. Why? We ought to wish all places well. Like Bishop is from Mbala, but he has put at heart. Why? That is the love that God wants us to be moving in. So thank you for loving the table. And we pray that you continue in the same way. I want to thank Madame Kao. See, she's a civil servant. 
knowing very well that tomorrow should be transferred to another district. But the way Madame Kao loves the table, it's like she's a bone of the table. Honestly, we are outside there, but what we hear, somebody cannot move and tell Madame Kao that you were doing something good or you were bad. But for us who are there, we hear Madame Kao, on behalf of those people who are outside there who are not here, I extend their thanks. That thank you very much. Madame Kao, you are doing the right thing. Continue putting whatever to your heart. May God bless you for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. And this program here that is moving, Madame Kao puts in her head to say that it continues. Thank you very much. Let me take this opportunity to thank my district chairperson, who is none other than Honorable Kutu James. Papa, thank you. There is no word that we can use to appreciate someone, but Papa, thank you. The devil is moving. Uh, our bishop did mention it well here that Butebo was known for other bad things. Now Butebo is coming on map. Honestly, Papa Chiaperson, thank you, thank you. And we pray that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob gives you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to see that Butebo comes on a map in a positive way. Praise Jesus. I will not specify that this one and the other one. Thank you for the teamwork. Regardless of a uh, few, few, but whatever is moving in a different direction. Let's continue. So, brethren, let's continue praying for our district. I will leave tomorrow. You will leave the other day. But what are we living in Butebo? That's what we are fighting for. We all have children. Will they find Butebo? How will they find when Butebo is not there? It's now our duty to make sure that Butebo stands still for those people to come and find it in a different shape. Thank you very much. I will not speak much for this note. Allow me end here as I wish. Uh, the function to continue as we pray for our district that all any 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 as it is written in Matthew that every plant which God the Father did plant will be uprooted. So let's join our hands together and say anything, anything which God the Father did plant be uprooted in the district. So that we can move peacefully in Christ Jesus. Thank you. Father, thank you. I give you praise, honor, and glory. I thank you, Father. You see, I can also stand and speak because it, it has been you, Lord. Thank you for saving me also. Maybe this could be the reason as to why you left me. I also add a stone to this district. But, Father, let this take the progress. Let it continue in a positive way. Lord, bless our district. This is our district. Lord, you gave it to us for the purpose. Let your will be done in this district. Oh God. Let the devil and all his plans be put to shame. God, thank you. We bless your name. Let the leadership of the devil district swim in your anointing as we glorify your name. Thank you, Father. I bless you, I bless you so much, King of Glory. All I pray in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us give God a mighty hand in clap. And I just request you to stand up. We are going to celebrate. We are going to thank God. We are going to sing one song when she went. Thanking God for whatever we did for our, our pastor, our leader. For saving his life, Amina. We bare Baba, we bare no, we bare singa tini, we singa na fide yamze.
Hallelujah. Ne munga ne. Nikasega kana. Kaba kuhulira. Koko zeyo baba. Umumoyo. Amen. Bishop Wesley and Lion Bishop Philip Chado. Cut to bang out of the money, he said. Not a room of the money. Let's just lift our hands in the world. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the precious name of your Son Jesus Christ, this morning. This Father's Day of this new financial year 2023-2024. Even as we stand here at Butelbo District Local Government, we are here at the gate. We are here to lift our voices unto you. We are here to call upon you to intervene in every area, yes, Lord. in every parish, yes. in every sub-county, yes. in this district of Otebo, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, may you intervene. Glorify the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we call upon you. You said, call upon me. In the day of trouble, I will hear you. I will show you great and things. What a mighty God that we serve. We are to lift your name on high and receive be thou exalted, be thou magnified. Father, we thank you. And even as we have come, we are coming as priests. And we thank you for the kings. Yes. It was what Jesus you mandated through the blood that you shed at the cross of Calvary that you redeemed us back to God and gave us the mandate to be priests, to be kings, to rule and reign. In our generation. We thank you that Lord even as we are gathered here. We are gathered in the name of Jesus. We thank you that there is a turnaround. In every format. In every activity. All for the glory. And all for the praise of your holy name. We thank you Lord. That our district table. Will operate under an open heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. That we are here to say. Your will be done in the Butebo. And is done in the heaven. Your purpose shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. And we say that. Thank you, Lord. And we pray for the head of fire around the Butebo district in the name of Jesus. We thank you that the Butebo will never remain the same. We thank you that you will help. You will be done. They could work in the Butebo to be able to accomplish it. And therefore, thank you for all the leadership. All the political leaders, we thank you for our NOC 5 chairperson. We thank you that your hand will continue to be upon him. Together with his executive, we thank you for the speaker. We thank you for all the leaders on the executive, the counselors. We pray, Almighty God, that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding will be the portion. And that you bless him even as he leads this district politically. Let us continue to promote him, preserve him in our generation. Thank you for the chief administrative officer, together with the technical staff, all the workers, the health, in education, all the sub county chiefs, all the all the, the parish chiefs and workers. We want to thank you, Lord. Bless them, preserve them. Their commitment is unequal to what you are able to do. They have just said, they have decided that every Father's Day of the month is a day of prayer. And we think that you came before we even came here. Because you are seeking for a man, you are looking for a woman, you are looking for that person who is to worship you in the spirit and in truth. And so we thank you, Lord. And we say, welcome, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, all the other leaders. Leader. We thank you for the community leader. We thank you for the business people. Not today, this morning, as we are gathering here, we are here to lift our voices and to, to say, We need you. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Have your way in our lives. And even this morning, have your way in our ministry. That the way we came is not the way we live. And we pray, dear Holy Spirit, I want to take preeminence. We thank you. 
You say welcome. Baba, wabinguni, hakuna, kama mwe. Baba, wabinguni, hakuna, kama mwe. You can just lift your hand and just worship him. Hakuna, kama mwe. we thank you. Ancient of days, we thank you. Lily of Sharon, we thank you. We say, Abba, Father, we worship you, Lord. Receive all the praise. For there is none like you, there is no equal to you. You are the Lily of Sharon, you are the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. And we say welcome. Welcome in our midst this morning. We welcome you in the Italian district. That your spirit will touch each and every man, each and every woman. Know that even as we are in line of duty, we are here to discharge our duties in the temple of this people. But Lord, we ask that you grant us wisdom, you protect us, you preserve us, you promote us, and above all glorify the name of your son Jesus Christ. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name. It is a joy. Can we get a better chair for our RBC? Uh, uh, thank you so much. Let's remove this chair. We you are our president here, so please. Bana. Amen. Amen. So uh, let's uh, clap our hands and appreciate. The arrival of our deputy RDC and the district. Um, it is so humbling. Baba LC5, it is humbling. The heart you have and have for the table. Sometimes we never realize, but. Uh, Yesterday I was talking to my children and I was telling them something. That the fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? The fear of the Lord, the Bible says and quotes, is the fear of the Lord. You can leave anything else concerning me, but when it comes to our God, we have to honor our God. Amen. And so our LC chairperson, together with his executive and those that have been able to find time to be with us, to pray. Friends, it, it will go in the annals, in the records of Butebo district. 
whether you like it or not. It will go that it was during the time of Brother James Silk Root, yes. Honorable, that prayer was allowed here. I'm going to see if I can come here and you know, say you will not pray from here. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So this is appreciated. I don't know. If, if we can just read that scripture in the book of Proverbs chapter number one. Proverbs chapter number one. I just want to Proverbs chapter number one, and I think verses number seven. If somebody can be up at first, please. Proverbs chapter number one and verse number seven. What does the Bible say? This is good news. Uh, good news. You have knowledge. You mm. must first have reverence for the Lord. Mm. Stupid people have to respect. Stupid people have no respect for mm. wisdom and and refuse to lie. That is good that news. Is good news. Mm -hmm. Any other version? Anybody with a, a different version also? In the game it says, mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, mm -hmm. but fools despise wisdom and instruction. This, this guy was up then, I don't know. <laughs> They also put the words like fools. <laughs> and it's the word of God. You can either be a fool or you can be wise. <laughs> so I, I think that the uh, wealthy five chair person is not a fool. <laughs> and you are not a fool too because you are calm. You know? Sometimes. I imagine there was a time I did, uh, bishops, I didn't know everything, but I didn't know that this Bible can be as real as you can apply it today. That it is current, it is real. I, I was looking, there was a time the children of Israel were entering into the promised land and they came to Jerusalem to, to a place called Jericho. Kakati, Avali, Jericho, they were thinking, these were just walking. And, and they were walking the first round, they walk around. Eh? Let me have two people to walk around here seven times. Eh, you, eh, three, you have also come. I want them to walk. Eh? You walk around. You start from here, you walk. Uh -huh. Another one is also at the there. I thought our father was also to join them. <laughs> Please also you walk. I want to show you something. Now they are just walking. Is that right? They are just walking. You walk, you pass there one, one time. And you see the people inside, they think nothing is happening. Do you see? They are just walking. Eh? That is it. Round number one, they are going the second time. I want you to see this. And people were saying, after all, we have what? A wall fence. Yes. Eh? A chisang, a as high as that uh, Babylon if I was a building. Eh? And when it, I want you to see this, for them, they are just walking. But God has commanded. God has instructed. Today we want to see the importance that they are walking. That is now they are starting the third round. Huh? I want to count very well. Praise the Lord. I people are thinking. They are just walking. But there is power in the word of God. Say Amen. There is power in what? And if there is anything that God has been able to do, it is not Bishop Charo or our mama here. No, it is because it is in God's timing. There is what God wants to do in the table. And he only needs our availability. And now is the time. Now is the season. And it will happen. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. The, the DPC called me and told me he has been promoted. He's still in Amen. Can you imagine? Amen. But he came here and we prayed. It doesn't mean that he will never be promoted. But he recognizes that he was promoted because of the prayer. Because he, he also knows that it was in Ibutebo that he was also promoted. Not with the standing. Let's just clap our hands for our car. Let's give thanks to the Lord for our cow has also been promoted to the full. Hallelujah. They are now going to the seventh round. I want you because today. We want to decree and declare that any war na buli kisenge chona ejali kiteke duwaho na chechi kugira butebo chechi lemesa butebo chechi zisa butebo orwalero wansi wa mafuta chigwa 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 let everyone fall in the mighty name of Jesus imira kubigerebyo tugenda kuba akaruru kubanga Spiritually speaking, every war was an H saying the war that was on Jericho. My goodness. This wall has been broken. Praise the Lord. And whatever has been kept back for you, you will receive it. Whether your promotion. Whether you are blessing, saying it to an age, do you know the secret behind the walls? The devil understood one man called Job. How many of you know Job of the Bible? He may be seated. He may be seated. There you go. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Now, the devil is going to God to accuse Job. I cannot access him. That God has built a wall around him. I pray that today, every wall of failure, of confusion, of stagnation has been destroyed in your life. In the name of Jesus, whatever has been causing you to be stagnated is destroyed. And today may God build a wall of fire around your life, around your business, around your job. I pray that God will build a wall around you. Those who are seeking for your destruction will not find you. They will not be given an opportunity. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Jesus Christ. Amen. Shout hallelujah. I like the word of God. And let's go to the book of Esther this morning. <laughs> let's go to the, to the book of Esther. We'll pick just maybe one or two characters there. But I want to tell you that prayer changes your neighbor. Prayer is Sarah, a Jusa. If that one is not cooperating, look for another one. I don't want you to be my neighbor if you're not going to cooperate with me. <laughs> prayer changes. Hallelujah. And through this prayer, whatever can never remain the same. Through this prayer, all the wicked people that want to access the table will not find the table. They will read the rudder and they will not.
not his sheep. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. There was a time in the Bible. And let me just read from the book of Esther. We'll pick just a few verses. In chapter number two. And the king made a great feast, verse 18, called it the feast of Esther, for all his officials, servants. And he proclaimed a holiday in the provinces and gave gifts according to the generation of the king. When the virgins were gathered together a second time, Mordecai sat within the king's gate. So he was not employed, but he knew the purpose, the principle of the gate. Mm. And as long as he would have sit there, we are now sitting at the gate. Say amen. Yeah. We have come to where? To the gate. The gate is where decisions are made. Yes. The decisions are made by these leaders of ours. It looks like just a signature. Very important. LOC was a five boy. I was a Rosa and I just said, which is on a water. So the it is at the gate. So Mordecai was not employed, but he decided to sit at the gate. Why? Because at the gate, he gets information. You are on the heart of God. And that's why when we come here, we come to pray. No reservations. Fetu se kuingia sababu zina fetu kwa lichi. Tu sabi le taka ni afu. Fetu maketo waga tu sabi la bi afu tu gende ni muziki ti gende tu sabi le yeye video. Aba gende muzi kato ni gende yeye. Aba gende muzi roko gende. Na hiyo kutoa hanga tu se one. Fetu se puke ti. We have come at the gate to lift our voices to say, Oh God, enough is enough. But the the things of the must change. That you also need to know that you need to operate under a good atmosphere. That's what we are dealing with. The atmosphere of when he wants to. Someone decides to sit at the gate. And something is happening. The king got a problem. The wife misbehaved. And she was thrown away. Now, you, I want you to see Mordecai. Mordecai, they were Jews. They were in a foreign land. This young girl that was chosen to be the next queen of this land, of this kingdom, was an orphan. If it was in Uganda, Esther Tayani Fuzeba Kwanda Warunora or Runwani, Nayaka Tonanga Yakweko one on one to take her into the palace. Some of you know that you are in Ibu in Ibutebo for such a time as this. You would have been in Arua or elsewhere. Some of us are here because uh, I know that the Amaya uh, DC. I think she will say if Ginger is nearer Pampala. But she's here for such a time as this. This is as well as to you. You are also in the table for such a time as this. I was crying for this young man. I call him my son, Bernard. Oriamu Tomede, Ayagala Kuza Morokama Vega Koleche. Tuwa sedani yaja kuba kuta na kola chi. Kwa jino 
You wait a little. You side with the devil. The devil has no mission. His mission is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yata mwana we, yali asuvula mwani. He sacrificed his own son. So the son also said, uh, 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 Daddy, to be able to call him. When he would drive to go to Mitiana, when he reaches Mitiana, the son says, Ati, tuli munda gano. Wanzi, tu kore bizi, tu gende. Na avuga, na adayo kampa. Echirucho na na avuga. Ka umula... Irani yake na kuwa mbura mwenye singa ye chai, natama ye vanga ya chiko la ngaroza. But that is the principle of the devil. His mission is to kill, to steal, to destroy. We are here to say, Jesus Christ came that we may have life and have it in abundance. I am here to decree and declare abundant life in your life, in your family, in your business, at your place of so now this man called Mordecai decides that his position is it's at the gate. Once a month, I am happy to come and sit here. I will still remain to be happy. Come and sit here. It is a public office. So yes. Eh, yeah. can convincing the way. Now, when the virgins were gathered together a second time, Mordecai sat within the king's gate. Now, Esther had not revealed her family and her people, just as Mordecai had judged her, for Esther obeyed the command of Mordecai when she was brought up by him. Banavari Mubuang, they were in captivity. They were, uh, because the, the, many of us know this wicked king, Nabucodonosor. He destroyed. He did everything. They captured people. Others were taken to be slaves, to be whatever. But look at these people. Even in that condition, Mordecai would speak counsel. That's why when we are here, we are speaking words of counsel that you make it. You will make it. Hallelujah. You will make it. Uh, we are here to say you shall not die before your time. Let's go to chapter number three. I will read the two verses. Now, after all these things, there was a man that had been promoted. It's called Haman. So we have seen Esther. We have seen uh, Mordecai. <clears throat> but also we are seeing who? Haman. Haman. He was promoted. He's called the, the son of Hamadatha, the Agagite. Omagagi. Do you know that in the district there are agitators? Those who agitate. Those who agitate. You are behaving like you are. Okay. Those are called the aga. <laughs> the agitators. agitation mobinyo. Promotion. Now, I know No. Peter and Kirakona, I forget. Catalabe, one of us. First thing, 
and set him above all the princes who were with, with him. And all the king's servants who were within the king's gate bowed and paid homage to Haman. For the king had commanded concerning him, but Mordecai would not bow or pay homage. Then the king's servants who were within the king's gate said to Mordecai, why do you transgress the king's command? Now it happened when they spoke to him daily and he would not listen to them. Then they told it to Haman to see whether Mordecai's words would stand. For Mordecai had told them that he was a Jew. And then Paula, I want to show you something. When Haman saw that Mordecai did not bow or pay homage, Haman was filled with wrath. But he disdained to lay hands on Mordecai alone. For they had told him of the people of Mordecai. Instead, Haman sought to destroy all the Jews who were throughout the, what? the whole kingdom of Hazaras, the people of Mordecai. In the first month, which is the month of Nisan, in the 2012th year of King Azaras, they cast the pool, that is the lot, before Haman to determine the day and the month until it fell on the 12th month, which is the month of Adam. Verse number eight. eight. Then Haman said to King Azaras, there is a certain people scattered in Butebo. We are not talking about now live this. We are not talking about Butebo. Scattered. And it is passed among the people in all the provinces of your kingdom. Their laws are different from our, all other peoples. They do not keep the king's laws. Therefore, if it is fitting for the king to let them remain, it's not fitting. If it pleases the king, let a decree be written that they be destroyed and I will pay 10,000 talents of silver into the hands of those who do the work to bring it into the king's treasuries. So the king took off his signet ring from his hand and gave it to Haman, the son of Amadatha the Agagite, the enemy of the Jews. And the king said to Haman, the money and the people are given to you to do with them as seems good to you. Uh, this is quite interesting. So this man who is an agitator, crafts a decree, allocates a day, the thirteenth day. This time it's not only Mordecai who sits at the gate, but all the Jewish people that are spread around the entire 127 provinces and they were to be annihilated, to be killed, to be destroyed. Oh, oh, catch <laughs> to the king's satraps, the governors who were over the province, this is verse number 12, to the officials of the people, to every province according to script, to every people according to their language, in the name of the king, and it was written and sealed the king, and the letters were sent by couriers in all the provinces, one, to destroy, tell your neighbor to destroy, Destroy. To kill, to, kill. To, annihilate. to annihilate both young and old, little children and women, in one day, on the 13th day of the 12th month, which is the month of Adah, and to plunder their possessions. Can you imagine? This was the scheme. Some of us, you are in an office and you don't know who is scheming against you. Hey, let me, I don't want to emphasize that so much. You are, in an, you are in that office. For you, you think you are just, there are those that are agitating. They want to take your office. But it's not only that, they want to do away with you. I have come here today that if there be any decree, against your life, against your place of work, it shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall not come to pass. And so this, when this information came, that's when Mordecai came out and sent the information to Esther. Says it is not well. 
And even if you are in the palace, you will be fished out and destroyed because of your what? And they decided, come what may. Come and buy her. They said, the Missouri, we shall pray. We shall seek God. That God will intervene. I'm telling you, God is a righteous God and is a God who intervenes. Today, may God intervene on your behalf. Yes. There were those who were spreading in Come on, use my word. Those names, I don't even know some of them. Kere, kere, ne, kere, what? The names are there. Kapucha, yi, kapua, ti, eh. For them, they don't know that something has been crafted here at the headquarters, at the gates, that on such and such a day they will be destroyed. But I'm here to say, in the name of Jesus, you will not be destroyed. You will not die, but you live. To declare the glory of God. Why should you die before your time? God helped the government to give you a job and employed you here. You needed to, to work at your fullness. Hey! So that you also enjoy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But the those agitators. And one of them is Haman. And he had been promoted. Can you imagine? Spending money trying to destroy. But after prayer, tell your neighbor after prayer. Did you decide to pray only for three days? Look at chapter number eight. Sigenda Kuruisa, chapter number eight. Of the same book. On that day, King Ahasuerus gave Queen Esther the house of Haman, the enemy of the Jews. And Mordecai came before the king, for Esther told how he was related to her. Sometimes, Jesus, that's why Jesus said, love your enemies. You just love, even if they hate you. Can you wave to me? <laughs> you are not going to kill like this. He knows what you were thinking even yesterday. And even what you are going to think tomorrow. He's aware. <clears throat> now Esther spoke again to the king, fell down on his feet, <coughs> and he implored him with tears to counteract the evil Haman, the evil of Haman, the Agitite, and the scheme which he had devised against the Jews. And the king held out the golden scepter toward Esther. So Esther arose and stood before the king. Verse number five, and he said, if it pleases the king, and if I have found favor in your sight, the thing seems right to the king, and I am pleasing in his eyes. Let it be written to revoke the letters devised by Haman. Do you know what they call revoking? Whatever was decreed against your life today, by reason of the anointing, we are here to revoke. To chisazamu, jirakoboti, to sasamu, ente kate kazona, ezomu bisetan, eri omuramu ho, eri familia yo, eri business yo, katonda kutate wano, ini butebo district, as a starting point, you must prosper, you must grow. I know people that speak, like my singers in the village, says, Kari, just follow that word, Kari. And somebody, you'll see them walking like they don't know where they are coming from, but the word is only one word, Kari. Nange ngenda kogera Kari, eyo waka tonda, e kiva kive, gwe toja kufa. Yo kwe fisa fisa. We went to Butalija district, and in Butalija district, we found 
Every worker on Canada, on a government, the Ninga Tevira de Tevio, Chevajan Yava Techirio, Nava Cancer of Nava Cafa. That was last November. I got to go Jacuara, I got to Ninga Wari and Peo or Peo. We never be our common. Talking the Kudamu Kumaraga, who are having it one day. Two Sabina district here, Fred, for your office, you know, not from the parish to the Gomborra. To the district offices. Peace be still. The blessing of God. If you can transfer me to go to Butebo. Hallelujah. So, saints revoke. So we are here to revoke any statement, any word, any word that was declared. Nti gwetoli malako, nti gwetoli botola, nti gori sigaro chau, echo chikafu we orwarero ebintu bichu siwa through prayer kabaka na chitegeira na ba wobu yinza gamba nti tuwa we wobu yinza. When Jesus was saying himself, I give, you, I give you authority. I give you power over every unclean spirit. Over Misamba, over Doko, over Bitega, Amanya Mavia Gava Magombe, AJ Jobu Sariana, AJ Koliga. Today I was looking at cows walking. It's in the Baba's bulls. They are yoked. There was a man of God, he, because he was still yoked. He, he, even when he went to America, he, <laughs> even if you want to be shifted to Kampala, even in Kampala, you're not prosper. Akura Kurana, Nabuch Koriko, Naka, where Koriga, a Chobuzari Rana, Kuburamo, you must have become a man to fire every yok. Emuto Avimania, Ubaku Baku Buraco Bas in the Coven Coco Kumavati. You go to what you are Kagabakaita Kaitaizura, Simani Kataizura. I was looking at some places. I was driving, going to Masaka and Mbarara. Then I saw a Daza, a Chiaronga, a Chiva Daza, those kind of names. But now I could take a Kerinya. One way, over You know the, the term of the names. The <laughs> Praise the Lord. Mm. She says, how, for how can I endure to see the evil that will come upon my people? Oh, how can I endure to see the destruction of my countrymen, the people of Butebo? Esther, Esther, no. Wangi. Yes, it's something happening in the table. Something good. Never two kids and half in the Tufunakota in Mayoko, Jacobe, Rakona, Mue. I want to wind your garden, could you never have a Mukama? I hear no longer my wine and come. Praise the Lord. Kubanga. Ochanta is of one the Karib Aripot, Tatagarika. No Janera, wherever the Kujamukama put where you are, Kisa, Kuvirako Christian Galiza. Not to be no motive of Fana Gutia, Gutio, Kuanga, Manto Abako, they meet where we took together Kuba to my Jevari. Abataya is a Jevari. I think we are moyo, ogo moyo, ogo aga guys, ogo go agitation. To go go back to district, you know. A year before, morning a year yesu. You get a man, a chechoyo, a ch agitation. But the casera, na te chagariza. To the syndicate, to the syndicate of fire, to the syndicate of fire, to the syndicate of fire. Kumu tebu, we tear you down. Hallelujah. Wamaso 
Yoko you need to survey. You stand and let's pray. My Bible tells me in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter number 10, and verse 3, 4, 5. The Bible called fight you and me that though we are in the flesh. Yet the weapons of are not carnal, but they are mighty in what? In God. To the pulling what? Down of every stronghold. Now I want you to lift your hand. We are going to pull down every stronghold of the devil. Every Agagaiti spirit that has been ruling over the devil. We pull you down. In the name of Jesus, we tear you down. We disconnect. We realize. We break every barrier over the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. We lose the fire of God in the cup of the devil. Gamatai Mukama or Warero Tuambara Man Tuambare Kisa Naturum Bagana O Wengula Wabu Tebo Murinia Yes to Christo Tu Menya Menya Tu Yusa Yusa Tu Sigukura Every song holds Every monetary spirit over the table that has been monitoring the progress of the table we lose the fire of God we dismantle you we paralyze you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God the word of God in Isaiah 50, I mean 25 and verses number 7 the Bible says God promised Isaiah he says on this mountain at this place of prayer I will, I God, will destroy the surface of the covering over the peoples of Butebo. Or Warero, Tura Angirida, Murinia Yesu, Naburiki Brangiti, Etisani Kite, Avantuva Katoda, Avasubuzi, Avakosi, Mutebo District, Mora Zakaba, Naburi Family, Eje Choyo, Ejo Nixani Kite, Chibrangite, Tuchi Yusa Yusa, Gamba Tuchi Yusa Yusa, Gochibrangiti, what to you? Whatever was cast over the table to deter development, progress, etchiva de chogera muget. Nga cho gere vintu e bibi E viga ambe e bibi O kuunye o kuvi Nga vuri o mwati ya vutebu Na yoro alero tu kwebaza Elie jiji lime nyeka Elie jiji tuli jao Murinye liya Yesu Christo O mwana wakato na omramu Father God we thank you Lift your hand and let's just give thanks to God Father we thank you We bless your name We exhort you this is your word. It is not our word, it's your word. And you promised that you look after your word to perform it. May you perform your word for these men and women today. For our district in Jesus' name. You may be seated for a moment. Mm. Verse number seven, as I am about to finish. Then King Ahasuerus said to Queen Esther and Mordecai, the Jew, indeed, I have given Esther the house of Haman, and I have hung him on the gallows because he tried to lay his hand on the Jews. But number, number, number eight, the Bible says, you yourselves write a decree concerning the Jews as you please in the king's name and seal it with the king's signet ring. For whatever is written in the king's name and sealed with the king's signet ring, Cannot no one can fuck. Chetu gendo, chetu rangiri rowa rero. Tewari agenda kudamu kuchi kolachi, kuchi sasamu. Tura angiri ra. Nti butebo ono agenda kura kura na butebo ono arengerwa. Nda wa arengerwa na ole kaba kurengeri. Muri nyeri ya Yesu Kristo. Umana wa katondo mlemu. Ngabara angirida nti. One of the best districts that performed very well. Ngabate kayo butebo. Nana wababa wakuri nyisizamu. Gamba koti aleluya. Katonda imuse. Aba saji abamai. Mumumwe. Aba kendo kole vintu ya vinene. Neu unye wali umu saji yovaya vawa. 
ina kuzina mulaba wa kugundi a uh, a uh, yagende iwafe yo ne inga ava kutemu wo oh, muita wo ye ke ke do ya yes yes uba Obazi ino nisagala kumanya bingi nina kindo kulaba against zili wa awande simanyi billion meka ni namba is this a man from butevo here katondeleka yewunyise abeko na basaja abalala na abachara abalala bayi musa wano mu butevo baberenga barengerwa Mwandika kote musumba na yeye akazimbe mizigiti atambuza abagundi yatwala abakatuliki yatwala abantu ku na mugongo he's there Ninga wawa wabutebo wano kakati gwelinda ko katona na bwana akwe yimusiza akwe situlire akujeyo nsenjagala nyo katonda abantu bayi musa abalokota abawokota na abajeno ku rubungo omanyo rubungo nganeke yes <coughs> Nale ne 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 wiki ba cha kulia ngabyo na byazikira ba they are the band Omanyigwe baba kukozesa ne bakukanyuga you have been used and na yeka tonda tafu e ya kolachi ya kukwata ko mpola mpola kubanga ya gendo kwetu alile kitibwa bwetu we kibera na yimusa na kuyimusa na kusitula katonda kuyimuse katonda kusitule ukurangirira ko okubonona ku rwalero may god lift you and may god bless you amen 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 echo te nebo ya gale nyo tokenda kusisa za mu kirangiri de kinywe praise the lord abakozi babu te bogenda kwa banja right from our whether the rdc is whether the cows whether the rc Goba kubino bano bayero sibadwa ababiranga ebuli kasera eteva bayimira teva yimirira Bano bagenda kuterera they will What are you talking about Baja kuterera ono butebo You must have gone yo ubire ko Christ just lift your hand well Give to the Lord Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Now the king is instructing them say you make your own decree. Kati gote kaye mikono jo ozibiriza amasogo fetukole ekirangira. Mukama tukwebaza. Urware ro turangira. Emirembe kuburambwa abasajja na abachara bano. Turangirira emirembe ku district ya iye butebo muri nye bya Yesu. Turangirira enkura akurana. Gazie nsaro za butebo mukama tukwebaza kubanga olwa lero prophetically tutambude yes, ne tuetulula butebo mm. ekisenge kyamenyese leka okay. waberewe bipye biyingira leka waberewe bipye biyingira e umukisa enzije nzigure mukama bano ba connectinge bagende basomere bwe government e basponsoringe mukama bano ba yimuse they come up they they them with sell we declare and declare promotion and we pray for protection in the name of Jesus no curse no weapon according to what Isaiah 4 and verse number 17 no weapon shapen against their lives their families their businesses their places of work shall prosper and every tongue that will try to rise against them in judgment that one will condemn we condemn every tongue we condemn every every form of condemnation it will be far from them lord we thank you that we release your grace we release your anointing we bless your people we bless you table in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit and the lord said amen let's just stand on our feet just for a moment i know time is not on our best ally but uh, we want to appreciate your time coming to be with us and coming to pray to your god amen Elinya lya Yesu lina manyi Alleluia lya Yesu lina manyi Alleluia Oh 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 lina manyi 
Gentleman has been a big thing. I know who has always been giving us chairs here. Amen. And the sound. Let's sing a monger a call, Bugalo. Amen. We, we, he's going to represent the, the I think the LCF care person has uh, received some visitors. So I want you to lift your hand and let's pray for these people that through them as they administer and the hand of God will be upon them and be upon all the workers. Heavenly Father, we thank you. These are the Esther, these are the Mordecai. They have chosen to stand in the gap on behalf of our district. Lord, I speak to the four widows to hear the word of God. That this is the representative of the president in this region, in this in this district. We thank you, Lord, that they, you grant them your favor. And the Lord, you will hold their hand. According to Isaiah 45, you said, unto Cyrus, and now unto Carol, who is anointed of God, that the Lord will hold your hand and go before you to subdue every territorial spirit that whatever has been standing before you and in the area of security in the Butebo district, we thank you, Lord, that you bless our security, all the security organs, that everything will be well in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you even for our cow. Just because this is an anointed woman of God, thank you that you are holding her hand to go before her. And as she's leading the rest of all the technical staff and all the workforce of the district, we want to first of all thank you for the promotion. And above all, we bless her. And Lord, we thank you that you will go before her to subdue every territorial spirit. Even as she comes to this district, Lord, thank you that every monitoring spirit is subdued by reason of the anointing. And every armored king Anything that has been armed against our life, that agitation spirit, we break it in the name of Jesus. Let your presence of God be upon her. Let your favor that she will minister with no 
regret. And Father, I thank you that you will continue to promote her. And thank you for our brother who has been standing with us. Even He's not standing with us, but he's doing your will, your purpose. You have blessed him. And he just wants to be a blessing. Even uh, to make it easy for us to pray here. And now as he stands in for the LOC file and the rest of the executive, all the counselors, all the political leaders from right from LOC 1 all through to the LOC 5 chairperson, we bless you. And we thank you that you are holding their hand. Father, we pray for wisdom. We pray for knowledge. We pray for understanding. And if there be any man and woman that is in our midst and they came when they are sick, we rebuke every sickness. We rebuke every disease. We command every unclean spirit to lose their life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we decree and declare the blessing of God that they are blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to do one thing. I want us to give in the house. We want to give. Amen. Uh, God was speaking when he sent angel Gabriel to Cornelius, the man in the Bible. Uh, he says, your prayers and your giving has come up as a memorial. I want you to know that whatever you give, give as unto the Lord and you'll never out to give God. Praise the Lord. For us, we don't demand uh, because, you know, we, we spend, we spend money on fuel, we do whatever, we go everywhere. But we know that God is the rewarder of those who diligently seek and serve him. Praise the Lord. Sometimes I want to appreciate Millie. The Lord will continue to lift you. The other time she was the one who gave us fuel. And I think the LC5 also gave us some fuel for us. We want to give thanks to the Lord. So I want to give you an opportunity to come and give. Just come and give in the house of God. It's time to give. Father, thank you because you bless your people. Bless the work of their hands. Lord, we speak to these workers. Your word in Deuteronomy, chapter number 8, verses 18. It is written that it is you, O oh God, who gives us power to create wealth. I pray that you give these people power to create wealth. That they will that they will prosper, that they will increase in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Bless the work of their hands, bless their families. And also let them have favor, even at their places, at their positions, let them have favor. We pray for peace, we pray for happen, we pray for cohesion, that the table will be one. We thank you, Lord, because it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And without wasting time, I just want to welcome our car uh, to welcome us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Our Papa Bishop Philip, the RDC, the chairperson, and your executive. All technical staff, our word is in your different capacities. I want to take this opportunity to thank God for today that He has given us.
an opportunity to be in his presence. I think this is a great thing. We know that there are many people that are great and mightier. They have older wealth. They could have given themselves life, but they are unable. So we want to thank God that we are here today to praise him. And the only thing that we can do to God, the only thing anyway, that he cannot do for himself is to worship him. Other things he can do, what he have he gives to us. So there's nothing that we can give to him. The only thing is to lift our hands and say thank you, Lord, and worship him. So I want to thank God that we are here to worship him. I know many people say that it's a waste of time. When I read what is on the, on the actual, I'm about to, to exit myself from some of the social medias because they give me negative energy. So I want to exit, I'm about to. When the Holy Spirit says exit, I will, because I don't want negative energy. They speak very negative of what we do here. But for me, I glorify God that he has, uh, he has shown himself. He has manifested himself. You know, uh, one minute just like this, before the presence of God is like many, many years. People say we waste time, but they have wasted time doing a lot of nothing. I have seen people who, who buy airtime and and talk negative on social media. Is that wasting time and resources? But for us, we know the God we serve. We know the God we serve is a mighty one. He never lies. I want to appreciate God in a special way. But this is the very first uh, Thursday of the financial year that I'm here. Because uh, I came here when the financial had started, so I did not witness the first year, the first beginning of the financial year in this district. It is the very first time that I'm here, and I give glory to God. And I know he has brought me this far. He will sustain me. He will. I have no doubt. When I came to this district, I was given less than three months. The very first day I reported, they told me less than three months. It was not a rumor, it was said to me in my face. But when I went back home, I said, God, you heard. I said, God, you heard. And whose, whose voice shall we obey? And I said, I'll take God's voice. And I thank him that he has sustained me, not for three months, but for more than nine months now. <laughs> And Pastor, I want to thank God that I came here as an acting cow. I am now here as the cow. <laughs> Officially. I have been I have been confirmed as cow. I have been posted in this district as cow. And I've also been appointed as the accounting officer for Butebo. Those are three letters in, the, in, 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 in one. Isn't that good? When I go out there, people say that, but at least now. Because for me as a person, I did not want to come and work in the after confirmation. But God's ways are not my ways. And I have said, God, let your will be done. Because my supervisor said, no, I am not taking you away. Why? Because you have stabilized the district. And it is not me. No, I don't share God's glory. It is God. And I know because he has started it, he'll accomplish it. And what the bishop has decreed it to, they has been confirmed. Because the Bible says what we declare, God confirms. So who is there to fight against us? Those who will fight us will be resisted by God. I don't want to complete that verse because it's not very good. Because I don't want to complete it. Because somebody may say I've cursed. And yet, that is what the Bible says. That if if you resist the anointed of God, God resists you. And he'll destroy you with your children. That is that, that is dangerous. It's very dangerous, but that uh, but is God is why. So for us, we want to thank God that we are here. Thank God for all the members. Big Papa, thank you for loving us. It's not, by the way, the men of God, some of them, those that we've interacted with, they have, uh, okay, I'm not saying they're proud, but they, 
they don't sacrifice. They will say that if you don't give me money in my car, I'm not coming. If you don't do first send me money for fuel, then I will come. But Papa, we thank you that you've sacrificed for us. You love us. May God reward you abundantly. May you continue to anoint you and your team. I know it's not easy, by the way. Prayer, by this, the most difficult thing. You can do other things, but prayer, people don't want to pray. But I thank God that we are praying, and we shall continue to pray. I also thank all the, the pastors and the men of God, and the men of God that are in here. Thank you. Pastor Bernard, your testimony. And I know, you know, some things happen for, not some things, but all things happen for the glory of God. He took you through what he took you through Sorry. to be able to know that there Jesus. is God. For me, that one, What's I know. But when challenges come in your life, was, that is when you know the God yourself. You can never see the might of your God if you're just living in that, yeah, that is your life. You can never see. But for me, I've seen God. When I speak of God, I know who he is. Because I know he picked me from. I am nothing without him. I don't want to preach again because pastor has preached. We want to thank all the leadership, the RDC. Uh, it's not always that people in those capacities want to come and do such things. But I want to thank the RDC's office that ever since we started, they are with us and they are always with us. Maybe they are the Easter's. Who knows? Yeah, because for us to live in Mawanga one, whichever. But God used an Emana Mawanga, some, yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we thank God for that. The LOCs and the chairperson, Honorable Munda. If we say thank you, it is not enough. But we say thank you. We appreciate. Because if we were to hire these machines and these seats every other time, probably we wouldn't have managed. But he offers them to us free of charge. May God reward you abundantly. All the technical staff that support, because uh, we, we normally take tea, it is given at, with the, by the bishop, but also with the technical staff. They don't have a lot. They have so many needs. They are challenged, but they contribute towards us having breakfast. So may God reward you, may God open doors for you, and may God love you and your children, and may God increase you, and may God promote you. May my God be your God. For me, my story is telling you, so you, especially, most of you are just, for me, I'm in the evening of my, of my public service life. But for you, the young ones, may God lift you from step Amen. to step. Because he tells us that he is a God that lifts us from one level to another. Yes. And if you want to prove that, ask me. And I'll tell you where I came from and where I am today. That proves his word that he lifts us from step to step, from glory to glory. But I want to honor God for the love he has for us. Honestly, everywhere, even in the, in, the, in the ministry, when they call me, they, when they hear anything, no, 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 friends, you don't want anything to disturb Betebo. What is it again? Everybody knows there is sanity in Betebo. Amen. And it is God that has done it and will not fail to complete what he has started. May this seed be sown here and may it grow roots and bear fruit so that even when some of us are going, we shall go at one time, of course, when if you wanted it to be, may this seed remain here forever in Jesus' name. I want to thank you and to appreciate God. I came yesterday very late. I went early morning, came back at night. I thought I would not come. But the Holy Spirit told me in the morning, go to the table. Because I had even told me I was not coming. But in the morning, the Holy Spirit said, go. Because I have to be in Bali to do data capture for people to get salaries. Those who missed in this month, this is the last day. But God said, go, he has a reason. And I know that when I go to Mbali, I'll, I'll finish what I'm supposed to do. So um, thank you, Pastor. Thank you, the team. Thank you, everyone. I know they are visitors. I think they needed attention, but we shall meet them. 
I know God is in control. May God bless us abundantly. For those that have come to pray, to, uh, where are my Muslim people today? Muslim staff, today you are not here. Uh -huh. May God reward you. And may Jesus Christ speak to you. That in the future you will bow down and say, Jesus, you are Lord. <laughs> Because the Bible says every knee and every tongue shall confess yes, <laughs> that Jesus Christ is Lord. So that's my prayer. We thank you so much for uh, making an announcement now. All heads of departments, we have a meeting by officials from public service, departments and sectors. Meeting by public service and uh, Ministry of Local Government at 2. And much as I've appreciated God today, let's, let's declare and say that let coming in here today. Let's also declare that one. Amen. Mm -hmm. I have observed even in prayers here. Can you imagine the bishop standing at current chairs to this place? What does that mean? Can you declare that we are going to work and keep time? Because our God is a time manager. He worked in seven days, six days, and created the whole universe and everything, you see. If he didn't keep time, would you have finished? He wouldn't. So may we keep time. And uh, I've spoken slowly, but I'm serious about it. So sec heads of sectors and heads of departments are meeting at two. And don't say I didn't announce it. Thank you very much, and may God bless you. Uh, yeah, we invite the chairperson. Uh, to come and make uh, his comments. Thank you. And then after he invites the Arabis. Praise God. Amen. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Madam Ka, our bishop, our Arabis, uh, the heads of departments, and everyone who is here, and the chairperson of the series. Who are in this prayer. Praise God again. Amen. It is a great pleasure for sure to be in the table when you have already normalized. I'm calling I'm saying that we are normalized. Because I remember last year it was October and November. There was a lot of fire, what everything it was not going well. So we thank God for that. Uh, Chairperson, you are most welcome. Uh, I want to thank uh, the ROC series who has joined us. I think they can stand up for recognition. Chairperson, ROC series. And the uh, we thank Pastor Bernard, who is the chairperson of Butevo. Thank you very much. Uh, he's the one connected us to Pastor. And uh, I think he said this Butevo, it needs prayer. And the prayer worked. So we praise God. Allow me to end there. My name's Amanda. Simon Peter, a secretary of production. Uh, allow me to invite my chairperson to say something. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, thank you very much, honorable member of the district executive, uh, bishop, the resident district commissioner, crown, members of the district executive, chairpersons. Honorable District Councillors present, the technical staff, the community, we are all a church. Good morning. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of us to this prayer day, which is the seventh, the seventh, the student seventh, sixth, sixth of July, which is the first. Uh, the first Sabbath for us as far as our financial calendar year is concerned. 
uh, there was no way we could miss this. Personally, I've missed prayers here, I think for two times or twice, even when I was in Champanzi, I think. So this time round, I see that I should not miss. Even when we left Kampala late, somebody told me that, but why do you move at night? I told the, the person that I have a commitment tomorrow that I must be part of the prayer. So I want to appreciate Bishop and the entire team for the commitment that we have put in this district and also for praying for us all the time. And then to the civil servants head, headed by Kao, I want still to appreciate you, Madam Kao, and the technical staff for consistently considering this day as a very important day in the district because we all agreed that we should always have prayers at least once in a month. Thank you, Madam Kao. On the same note, allow me also acknowledge and recognize the achievements that we have registered ever since we began prayers and among them I want to congratulate Madam Kao, congratulate everybody who has been promoted including the DPC and the other officers in uniform who have benefited from that promotion. And I know all of us, our turn is yet to come. Let us have hope. Each one of us, God has a plan for us. It is just the timing that has been hopeful. Uh, Bishop posed the question somehow in the preaching that we are here for a time. He made that statement. We are here for a time. It wasn't simple as you may hear it, but I want you to put a reflection on that statement. We are here for a time. But for a time that we are here, what is that that you have done? What is that that you are leaving behind? Should be another question for you. What would be the feelings of the people? Because all these offices, we occupy them on their behalf. They can't all be in these offices, but we have been entrusted to be there on their behalf. Are we serving them? Those are questions that you should be asking yourselves. On that note, therefore, I would like to call each one of us to remain committed to his or her docket or office and discharge his or her duties in response to solving community problems and promoting peace, harmony in the district and therefore development. Because that is why we are here. Solving community problems, providing solutions for those challenges that are there. We may not solve them at a go, but also we have to give people whom we are serving hope such that they have trust in us. Uh, on the same note, allow me to appreciate government for the continuous support that they have continuously given us as a district. 
This morning again, as you see that red veil there, because people are moving quite today, and they are to provide us with water, the pipe to water. And they have been carrying out a study in the district on which boreholes have a potential to have pipe to water. But they have been successful in two areas. All of them are in Sidai. Those are the bombs, the highest yield in the district. So that is good news for us as a district. And we are getting to the ground. So Honorable Monda be set to accompany them in the field such that our people receive water. But of course, it involves sensitization. Uh, the other one is that uh, as a district, we have also registered some good achievements while there, much as you did not see us and cow scoop the awards. But we have improved generally. We have improved from the previous number 133 in the previous assessment to number 101. To me, that is an improvement. Can we clap for our selection? But of course, it calls in us to put in more effort. More, more effort. Our best department was water. Water. Water, thank you so much. Nationally, it was number 10. Nationally. Out of the 154 entities, we were number 10 as far as water performance was. They are very effective. You know they are but also, I want to acknowledge and report to you that education let us down. We were number 146. That's what pushed us to that number 101. I would therefore like us to pick points and see how best we can improve. I'm going to dissect that report seriously, Madam Kao. I'm going to give it time and look at it critically and see whether we can't improve. But I am very much sure that we shall improve. On that note, therefore, I call upon all departments to improve seriously. We work for the district. The best district nationally was he single. They earned more money. They earned more money in this subsequent or in this financial year to a tune of 500 something million. Why? Because they perform well. When you perform badly, you affect the resources that come to that district, the job, must we allow our district to lose the little when you are there? Those are now the dynamics I'm going to get into. There is a district that earned one point something billion under education for development. Because 
because they have worked for it. I was busy taking note. That's why I'm told you I'm going to dissect this and we see how best we should improve. It is not only the district that contributes to the results of the national assessment. My colleagues, the sub-county chairpersons, your effort, the sub-county technical staff, your effort, please. Let us all contribute to this good assessment. We want to be able to improve. Therefore, we should also identify areas where we are not performing and see that we perform and improve. Even if I left Butebo after five years, there should be something on record that I should be known of. That is what I am working for, and that's what we should all work for. But of course, we thank God for so many achievements that we have registered as a district. Among them is the District Service Commission. Thank you so much. Bishop, thank you so much. All of us, thank you so much. We are yet to register more and more reasonable achievements and progress and it calls in for peace in the district. It calls in for teamwork as a district. All of us are important. All of us are serving the same community. To me, there is nobody who is lower than me. That's why I have always worked with you as brothers and sisters. But we need to remain committed to serving the people. Uh, lastly, I want to thank uh, the RDC. I want to thank uh, all of us for the work that we have done. I know we shall get a day and see, evaluate ourselves and see how best we can keep on improving, but all we give to glory to God. With those few remarks, I remain of Group James, the district chairperson. I want to call upon you for purposeful living and progress and development in the district. And let us learn to sacrifice for the good of this district. We shall move on. For I don't have any doubt. I trust myself, by the way. That's one thing I know of myself. I trust myself. If you don't trust yourself, then you can't do anything. Because development begins from you. Change begins from you as an individual. Therefore, if you want to develop this district, begin by developing yourself by way of your mind. What is that that you want the district to be, your office to be? But of course, let us love one another. Hate, is, hate destroys, it doesn't build. With those few remarks, may I invite the RDC to make her closing remarks. Thank you so much. Praise God. Praise God. Good morning, all of you. One hand to thank our bishop. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you for the prayers all the time. I know that you pray for us. I want to thank our cow, the chairman, LC5, the technical staff, and protocol is observed. So I'm Carol Nantong with the Deputy RIDC table. Mine is one comment. Uh, I want really to thank God that sometimes we mix work and other things. 
We are all appointed here, we are all given jobs here to work. And we are supposed to respect all our duties of work. Because um, when we are talking about prayers, we all of us want the district to change. And we are happy that we are moving in one direction. And as it has really taken a lot, physically, mentally, and everything, to see that we are moving in one direction. But henceforth to that, there are some things that we cannot avoid. There are some things whereby this is what you have to do. Sometimes it's, you even don't want to do it, but it's your obligation to do what? To do it. So I want all of you to bear with all of us here that our offices do different types of what? Duties and work. So if you find sometimes some things falls under your lineage of office, but it doesn't, you don't really want it. Sometimes try to find a way to approach someone. Because most times I come and like tell you that um, um, I want something to know what is happening in this department. Most times I meet different heads of department. And I tell you that I want to know what is really happening in this what department. Because we are supposed to report. And with those reports, if we try to give our own reports, what we see, or what we just see around, it may affect all of us. And in the beginning, that was that. Because you didn't give it a chance, like to be open to each other, just like how we saying teamwork. So I came out with a plan, sat with my boss, as the Minister of Presidency herself, I told her, Madam, this is what we are going to do. Let us give opportunities to different departments also to tell us what is happening in the department. How much have you gotten this time? As in that math only. Because we report monthly, weekly, every time you're given a call, you're supposed to give a what? A report. Why I'm giving this? Because the district went in another direction of that time because of the way we used to report. So when I call you, when I come to your office, don't say, now what is she looking for? Give me what you think you have, because you always compare notes, and then we get to know what are we supposed to report. I think this is, through prayers, this is why you're seeing this sanity in this district, if I may say to you now. If we had continued going the same direction we used to move, you wouldn't see what you're seeing now. It will be even worse. Because there are even times I myself wrote a letter to be transferred. And they said, no, we are not transferring. Okay? So, when we say that we need to work as a team, I thank God that this has worked, Bishop. Because when you ask your boss, and your boss, you tell her this is what I'm thinking will work. And she said, okay, try it. And when I come to you, you think we want to report to you. It is not that way. We are trying to see how best can the district move. That is why we say, okay, let's do it at least monthly. When you come and tell me, uh, when I call you and then you say, this is, we are working with the chairman, because most time I even tell him, and then no, this is, today we have this. And when you come to you, you, you don't, like give us what we are supposed to know. You're giving the error DC because it's his mandate to know every coin, everything that happens in the what? In the district. And that is why we are pushed to these districts. Okay? So when we are when we are given that, I was like, okay, thank God what I've asked for, they've given me, I go ahead. So that's why sometimes I come to you and say, this is what I want, so that we can sit and compare. And I'm so glad that my boss reached an excellent and said, Carol, I no longer write reports. You do the needful. So I think this is what you're seeing. And even this thing doesn't only stop here. Even our bosses are appreciating the table, the way we write reports. Actually, uh, 
I uh, was begging the honor the minister for president to come to Butebo, and she was like, arrange with the district chairperson. What do you want me to come to do there? So when you give me a day and tell me what you want me to come and do, then I'll be able to give you a day and also come. Because other districts are getting it, why not Butebo? Okay? Because they were, they were writing the best, best district to write reports. The chairman has just given you that at least we've improved. Even in the report writing, we are the rate of 54. The best report writing. And why I'm saying this is that we improved on how we write reports. Not to just come and write, the chairman did this, no. Get me a proof on what you're writing, on what you're giving me, I need it. So that's why there is sanity. We first sit, we first discuss what are we supposed to, what are we supposed to report. Then I think with the blessing of God, we thank God that it is not easy. It hasn't been so easy because uh, sometimes you're asked by our supervisors what is taking place. Why now, nowadays you're not reporting? Why isn't money being eaten? <laughs> you don't report this. Are you telling us everything is good in Butebo? So, it is not a one thing work. I want to assure you. It is not one because this is security, okay? But it's a collective what? Effort. But I want to thank all of you because we've been there for each other. And me, I thank Bishop because if there wasn't that pressure, me, I believe in pressure. Me, I'm a politician. I believe in that heat. If you don't have that heat, you cannot recognize yourself. You cannot know what am I supposed to do. You think everything is just on a silver platter. But at least right now we know what we are supposed to do what? To do. And right now we know that cow is in this level. Chairman is in this level. How am I supposed to handle everybody? How is it supposed to be like that? It is supposed to be a pressure pull, a pressure push a bit. That's why she has said tight. Because even I came back for prayers. But why? Do I have a reason? No. So that is why I'm saying that maybe sometimes you need that push. One time we were sharing with her how she got that promotion. It was because of the situation in Butebo. And that is the reason even why she's here with you. So if you say that hey, anything that happens out of something bad, there is always something good that comes out. But when you expect everything to be good, don't expect any goodness in it. So, out of the worst situation, we got the best. Out of the worst situation, we got the best vision. Out of everything the chairman is settled, now he is focused. This is what I'm supposed to do. Okay. In any way, even if Carol I'm transferred to another place, even if Kalikwan is transferred, my RDC is transferred to another place, Someone who comes here, they will know how to handle the person. Because they've gone through the situations. They know that, eh, you're joking. We had even this one. Okay? <laughs> so they know. Okay? So don't think that anything that comes, eh, hey, then you quake. You no, know, you have to be strong for some things to happen. Because I told you, I asked for a transfer. I told her, you know what, me am a new person. I can't manage fighting. Then he was like, how come you used to fight in Kampala? And moreover, you, know, you weren't fighting for what is there. You used to fight even going to fight the president himself. Because me, I was in opposition anyway. You used to fight for president. And used to go to parliament fighting even not knowing you can be killed. Then you're telling us, whatever. aren't you hiding something? Aren't you defending yourself? We are not transparent. So this is why I'm telling you that every something bad, there is always something good that comes out. May I pray that I don't want things to be so good, good, good. No. I want to see what is the other side of this that I can also fight myself. Okay? So we thank God that we pass through all situations.
Because our uh, bishop has just said, I want to see God raising people from what? Dust. So do you think the dust has just come from just dust? All of us here, we know where we came from. And we know, even if we don't tell our story, we know where we are coming from. At this point, we know where we are now. So we just thank the grace of God. Because who is Carol to be appointed by the president? Who is Carol to have a red, a red card or identity card? Who I am? Nobody. Because Carol may tell you, because the first time she was like, eh, this is the, you're the NATO. So we just thank God that he transforms us from all where we come from to something else. So, Bishop, I want to thank you so much. We've also missed coming, but sometimes you find yourself, sometimes you're not around. You also feel it, just like the way the chairman has said. Sometimes it's a bit of what, but you feel it. And we feel the presence of God in the table. I know we shall do the best. I know we are ready to work together. Uh, don't fear. If you find something is not comfortable, don't just go behind Carl's back. We are just human. Because we know sometimes we, even our transfers are made. <laughs> because me as like, but they've told us they, they give you like at least a year, then they transfer you. But now, I'm not seeing any transfer. <laughs> because on um, Saturday I was with the Minister for Presidency, he was baptizing people. They were baptized the other things of Adventists. So I was just seated near her here, I was busy, madam. You're not true. Why? Hey, why are you pushing me to transfer you? Did you do something wrong in the Mutabo? Should I call and ask? You're pushing me every time you see me. But, but, but. What is that but? Isn't it a district? <coughs> can you feel comfortable where I can push you for two more years? If you're joking. I was like, okay. Now I'm quiet. <laughs> so we just thank God wherever we are. Because we are thinking, ah, let me wait for one year. I'll go to Hajj and tell him. Um, mm, mm. That's like, now the district is organizing itself. Now you, you want to run away. Now you want to leave other people just achieve what they didn't work for. Okay? So why I'm bringing this, let's try to fight for what we are working for. Because the chairman has said, we are not here to stay for long. You know, tomorrow, this is just, your, actually, it's just an appointment. Whereby, you know, even if, today, the evening, I might get a call. Go. But mm -hmm. I don't want to go and then I even find a, someone from Butebo, I hide away. Mm. No, we are friends. We came here to work. I need all of us to be together. I need all of us to work for God. And it's only God that I see things are moving better. And they will move more better than this. All what you have to do is to trust each other. Because nobody is high. We are all the same. We all need the same food, the same gift of life every morning and day that God provides. Abundantly minus nothing. So we thank you so much for coming. Uh, my boss is with us in prayers. He has gone to Kampala. He has day and tomorrow. So he won't be around. Uh, but he was telling me that just tell the congregation that I'm not around. He traveled in the night. So uh, we just thank everybody. Our office is free. Don't fear to come at least those days. I passed her when they see me at car. What will they say? When they see me at your man's place. I think we just thank God that that is finished. So <laughs> I know it's feel free when you come and when I call you that I need this report, please just help me. Give it to me so that you can compare notes. And Madam Ka, when I come, just know that that is what is required. Now the reporting has changed. We come to departments, we come to you, we go to the chairman, we get and we compare notes and report what is required to be reported.
because all offices find challenging. But all report in different what? Different centers. Because she has to report, chairman has to report, uh, bishop will also have to report to God that uh, uh, my things, things are moving. Uh, so we thank God that uh, to have you. And we thank God for all of you who are a beautiful district. We thank you, Kao. This hasn't been easy, but me, I don't call it as easy. It was in the midst. Yeah. Don't fear something when something comes and then you say, ha, ah, to damn big. No. The bishop has said, who fights for our battles? You, you can think you're fighting, you bring Rukambo to chairman, you disorganize it, cow, you say, Madam, honorable, this is what is happening. But there is only one person who fights our battles. And we know, because tomorrow I can wake up when I'm dead, what will you do? Nothing. Because at the end of the day, all of us are ending it down here. And that one, yes, it has to happen. Because even if, even Jesus went through the same process, who am I? So I know that at one day, anything will happen. But before that, he has prayed nobody will die because we don't deserve that. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> we have a lot to do. So thank you so much. And uh, God bless you. Thank you, Bishop, for coming. We appreciate everyone in this midst. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Uh, I think you can do better than that. Let's just start. I have gone to several meetings. Uh, an LOC one can refuse you from holding any meeting. But these people have been so good to us. Uh, they have always allowed us to be here to pray. And uh, I also want to appreciate all of you that come to pray. May God. Um, I would propose that uh, if the minister is coming, he to come on our day of prayer. We sit her under the trees here. This will be one of the, the Thursdays of the month. We would always appreciate. Amen. But that day then we come early. Because today I found Bernard was here. I was the second. But it's, it's good. It is good. So, thank you so much once again. My meaning will thank you for being here. Amen. I don't know. We'll always ask for the next, but uh, time will come. Chairperson <laughs> must get us another person also. Okay, so uh, let's stand. Now you know, this one close. Anybody you have a It's only the other DC who talks. Anybody you have any statement? Amen. So let's just pray and as we close. Our dear Heavenly Father, we once again say thank you. Jesus, you spoke two things. You said and talked about men. One was given five talents. Another one was given two talents. Another one was given one talent. We don't know how to thank you. But you also said to these men differently. You said, well done, good and faithful servant. Even as these men, women, are serving, we have had the heartbeat of our deputy RDC. At one time she thought it was so bad that she needed to but you have been an encouragement that now she's firm. And we pray that you strengthen her, 
that if she's going to leave Butebo, she'll be going on a promotion. And if possible, we even promote her here in Butebo. We still need her. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless her. And we bless the, our LC Fat Japans, the cow, and the rest of the people. Father, we thank you that the rest of the day we commit it into your able hand. Those of us who uh, grant us any mercies. And we thank you, Lord. We honor you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. Amen. So now and forever. Amen. Breakfast. We are Let it nourish our bodies to enable us to do your will for your Jesus. Amen. Friends, it's very important to break bread together, have fellowship.